Hey everyone, this is Ron with Happy Homes with the walkthrough tour of 3118 Floral Bank Lane in lovely Carolina Bay in West Ashley, Charleston, South Carolina. Uh, I'm gonna kind of step back a little bit and talk to you a little bit about Floral Bank Lane and Carolina Bay and the benefits of being in this area. First and foremost being this amazing main park. This is one of a few parks in the neighborhood but it sits directly across the neighborhood, just sorry, directly across from the house here with immediate access to the mailbox banks and park area. There are also three community pools in this neighborhood um, that you would have access to renting from this location. A couple trucks just went by, so that's the noise, but you can see generally extremely quiet being here. Um, some of the benefits of living in Carolina Bay is this sits at the end um, off of Bees Ferry Road. It's very close proximity to the Air Force Base uh, and to Boeing and you know the, the west part of Charleston, uh, but still very conveniently located close to downtown. Uh, you can get downtown in about 20 minutes from this specific location. Check out the uh, the view from the front porch here. It's just gorgeous and serene. There's playground for the kids uh, and just lots of area. <clears throat> so a lot of amazing features about this house. Let's go in and take a look around. I just love the floor plans here. They're they just didn't leave anything out. It's, uh, <laughs> as you see, as you're going through this, um, you know, this house can be built for all walks of life, but uh, some amazing features that, you know, covers everyone. Um, just inside the front door, and again, here's, here's the doorway area, so you can see the porch. But you have a formal living space uh, that segues right into the kitchen through that doorway there. Um, but lots of space. This is an eight person table that you can see here um, very easily, seats eight. Uh, just to, behind me here is a, uh, you know, could also be a formal dining room. They have it set up as a, a workspace slash office. I'll come around here and segue. So you can see there's like a craft area. I have a desk here right next to me. Uh, kids table here in the middle, as well as a whole other office workspace area over here to the right. Um, there's no closet in this room, uh, but you know, again, it could be a formal dining space or uh, you know how they have it set up. You certainly could use it as a bedroom if you needed to. Um, mud room, again, very conveniently located to the front door. Got space for shoes, some storage in the bench area here. And then, of course, half bath. Um, here you'll see a continuation of these uh, cabinets and countertops throughout, uh, but a nice, spacious half bath here off of the uh, main living areas. Okay, segue into this wide open space. You have a, a closet there, a uh, little, well, not little, a large. <laughs> Uh, buffet set up there, huge kitchen with the triangle of your sink area, um, gas cooktop over here, certainly a, a chef's kitchen. Uh, again, continuation of the lovely um, cabinetry and countertops. Here's your double stove and convection oven and uh, French door refrigerator with bottom freezer, indoor water. Um, you do have a pantry area here with lots of storage space. And of course, this is just off the living room. Got a mounted TV over the uh, fireplace, gas fireplace. Uh, very lovely seating area and very convenient to the kitchen. So whoever's doing food prep doesn't miss out on the action. I'm going to go ahead and show you this since we're right here. I love this. 
Here's a little outdoor seating area that the owners created uh, during their time here. It is like a screened in segue between the house and the driveway, but just creates this lovely bug free uh, seating area with a nice um, cabana fan up there uh, for some tropical feel. And then of course some great um, rope lighting. Uh, and there is still a backyard. I'll go ahead and show you the garage since we're right here. Um, this is one of the house that has lights that activate when you walk in the room. A lot of smart features to this home that you can read about in the listing. And of course, we'll provide you with uh, some information on how to operate some of the smart features. Of course, all this stuff belongs to the owners and will be gone, but you get a good idea of how much space you have to work with there. Uh, and let's go ahead and check out the exterior yard. Uh, some more lights hanging over this little patio area, uh, just so I don't miss out. Um, I'm sure they pull it away from the house, but they have a storage area for the um, grill setup and whatnot. And then of course you walk out between these trees and you have some yard space, uh, but a fully fenced in yard area. Uh, that covers this side of the house. So really, they thought of everything here, in my opinion. Uh, not only does this house have a lot of bedroom and bathroom space and uh, um, just lovely features that they thought of everything, but also, you know, the outdoor space is covered as well. Thought of everything. Look how light and airy this is. It's just really really nice as you come in all right let's go check out the bedrooms at the top of the steps here you'll see that we segue right into the master suite the primary suite of the home uh, this house currently is affixed with some gates for uh, to control the pets and or kids depending on what your needs are but they are affixed um, you do have a vaulted ceiling here for some added um, features. Uh, this is a king size bed for measurement. Got a full size dresser, standing dresser over there, lengthwise dresser over here. Lots of space in this room for anything you would like to have in the primary suite. Right off the primary suite, we won't go outside, but again, Another porch, just like downstairs, with a lovely view of that park across the street. Fantastic. Here's the primary bath. You've got dual sinks and vanities. Lots of storage space underneath. Continuation of the beautiful cabinetry and countertops that are in the home. Tile floor and uh, dual closets. This is a single standing closet. Walk-in shower and uh, a larger walk-in closet with um, plenty of storage and hanging space. I'll give you a quick look at that because there's a significant amount of stuff in here, but just to kind of give you an idea of just how much space that you have. Uh, there's even some more hanging space behind the door. And then of course the lavatory here. Okay, let's take a look at the guest and alternate bathroom, bedrooms and baths. Right here, right off the primary suite, you have full-size washer dryer and laundry room. Closet there. And off of the two other two downstairs bedrooms, you've got full, full bathroom with a tub shower combo. And you can see just, I'm gonna pan around here bonus room. We'll show you that more in a second. And these are currently fashioned as two kids rooms, but could be used for whatever your needs require. Uh, French door closet. That's a twin bed in the corner. Lots of space. These bedrooms, I would say, are all oversized. Uh, plenty of room to do whatever you need to do with them. There is carpet through all the bedrooms relatively new it's in great condition um, and then here is another full size they have it set up as a nursery obviously 
but it could satisfy whatever needs you have. And as I mentioned earlier, the bonus room. It's fantastic. I love me a bonus room. You've got, uh, there's no TV in here. This is obviously set up for kids room and a spare couch here. And there's a little play area. Uh, lots of rooms, keyboard here. But, you know, if you wanted an upstairs TV room, this could certainly be it. Or we could go to the fourth bedroom slash bonus room. I will be clear that there is no door on this room. So, uh, but it is kind of a loft bedroom. There is a full bath up here and there is a full closet up here. So lots of space, a little desk area there. Full size bed, but certainly room enough for a king up here. Um, and this could essentially be a dual master if you needed it to be because this room is spacious. And there's your full bath. Okay, everyone, I wanna thank you for watching. Uh, again, this is 3118 Floral Bank Road uh, in Carolina Bay in West Charleston, South Carolina west of the Ashley. Uh, I want to thank you for watching. For more information on this property, please visit our website at happyhomespm.com or give us a call at 843-608-8845. Thanks for watching.